Hello everyone, thank you for joining me on our dining room makeover video. Um, this is the first video I've done of this sort, so please bear with me if it's a little painful. Hopefully I will get better because I have more rooms that I want to do in my house. So here are the before clips. Um, everything in our house is super beige. Neither of us like beige enough to have everything be beige. So. We were really excited for when we could finally start painting. I told myself that I would not begin the painting process until I finished the table and chairs, which I was redoing. And that took me so long, so long. It was so tedious. I really love it though. Um, so the light fixture was here when we moved in and it's kind of our inspiration. We both really liked it. Um, we liked the black, so... I just wanted to kind of go with black, I guess. Um, I don't really know how to describe our style. Uh, when you watch this video and you get to the end, um, let me know in the comments what you would call this style. I don't know. We both like, we like modern. We like minimalist a little bit, but then eclectic. Like, I don't even know. I don't even know. So anyway, um, I'm not a professional at anything. <laughs> I like to think I'm a little bit good at lots of things, but I'm not a professional at anything. So if you see me doing things wrong, I don't know. You probably will. Just try to just look past it. So I am washing the walls and taping here. I will just fast forward a little bit because this is really boring. <laughs> making the picture ledge for the dining room wall. I'm just going to drill some pilot holes in the back of the one piece wood awkwardly with one hand while I'm holding the camera with the other hand and then I'm going to put a strip of wood glue across and um, screw in the bottom piece. one by three or one by four on the back and then the one by three on the bottom. I've just screwed it in there. And now I'm gonna put the lip on the front so that when we put the pictures on the ledge, they won't fall off. So I've got a one by two and I'm gonna go around. And ideally I would use a air nailer um, so that the less visible because this is the front of it and I'm going to go in from the front to attach to the bottom but um, that's a lot of work for me to get that out without my husband so I'm just gonna drill the pilot holes in the front and I'm gonna put the screws down so they're sunk in and then I'm just gonna fill the holes with um, the wood wood putty stuff and then I'll just stain over it and hopefully they won't be visible I hope. <laughs> Here it is. Picture ledge. I'm going to stain it. It's not perfect. This is not necessarily a how-to video. Maybe you don't do what I did. Buy pre-cut lumber instead of trying to cut your own with a skill saw. Use an air nailer. But 
I don't know. I'm not a perfectionist. Maybe that's a flaw, but it is what it is. So this is what I filled the holes with, wood filler, and it is paintable and stainable. And I just fill the holes with it and it'll dry a bit and then I'll give it a little sand and then I'll stain. I'm going to start staining the rest of it and save the front for the end. So here's the finished product. Right there. Um, the holes are like still noticeable. But they blend in and I think once the pictures are on it, nobody will notice unless I point it out. So to make this project, you need to buy a 1x4, a 1x3, or another 1x4, and a 1x2. And I have them in 6 foot lengths. I didn't cut them because my wall is huge. I wanted it 6 feet. Um, so if you buy pre-cut lumber, this is super, super easy. I had two 1x6s that I wanted to use. And so I cut them with a skill saw lengthwise and that sucked. I don't have a table saw. I don't have a guide. So I just was like, <laughs> and that's why we have that kind of stuff. So if you just buy pre-cut lumber, it's a super easy project. Um, like I said, this isn't necessarily a do what I did because it's, it's far from perfect, but um, it's cheap and I, I won't care. So... Yeah, I'll show you what it looks like hung up once the stain is dry. Here is the picture ledge attached to the wall. I just drilled pilot holes and then I I did five screws. Um, I don't really care that you can see them because I'm going to put pictures in front of it. But here it is from the side. Pretty happy with how it looks. I'm happy with the size. At first I was a little worried that it wasn't going to be big enough, but... I think it's good. So, okay, I found these prints at Nova, or at a thrift store. And they are of places in Nova Scotia. And I thought they were nice. Um, a little dated looking. I think like the blue tone, I was like, oh, that's a little 90s. But I do have lots of blues going on. So I thought maybe they would work. I don't know how much I paid, two or three bucks. So I thought I'd try it. And I think I'm going to use them in here. And when I took it apart, because I'm painting the frames, I don't like this. I'm going to paint them black. I discovered, indeed, 1990. I got the frames painted, but I decided that the 90s prints were just two 90s. And I couldn't bring them back. So I used these botanical things that are probably also old but are back in style um i left the 90s prints behind it in case those come back in style but yeah i decided to use these i will talk about them more later and i will include the link for amazon for those so here's the before photo to remind you of all the beige and all the mess the real transformation is almost just me cleaning the dining room um but here it is so the blue is called bowman blue and the gray is called rainy days and they're both by beauty tone from home hardware i am really really happy with how it looks i actually want to be in there now um yeah the I curtains love it. i got from a friend she bought a house and they were hanging and she didn't want them and i was like oh my god i love those so she, she gave them to me, and I just love them. They're a little quirky. I debated changing them out for something plain black or plain white, but um, I don't know. I like them. They're cute. And uh, so the carpet is one I got from the brick many, many years ago. It's not in the greatest shape, and that is why I don't feel bad putting it under the table. The table was thrifted. It is, it was $20. Um, well, not thrifted, but like a uh, marketplace. Uh, the chairs were all free from various places and I painted them black. And let's go over here. This was a gift. This is from Amazon. 
Whoop it. This came with a pack of six and they are kind of canvassy. They're like a fabric. I guess you could frame them and make them in canvases if you wanted. Um, yeah, they're, they're a little bit of a weird size. Like a, not, like they're bigger than an eight by 10, but narrower than 11 by 14. Anyway, they work well in here. Um, they'd look good on those poster stretcher things too. I made this. This was uh, thrifted. I don't know where I got that. This was thrifted. These are two more of those prints. Like I said, there were six, so I have three I haven't used yet. I made the plant hangers. This is a Monstera lavender and a fake plant. This plant is from my from my mom and the basket is from Ikea. It was a wedding gift. And my picture ledge. I love it. I'm so happy with it. Um, I really like to change out my wall art and I don't know why I didn't think of doing this sooner because it's, I can make, change it around. I already like played around with it, changed a bunch of things and like when it's Christmas, I can do Christmas stuff. Oh no, what? It's ready for a nap. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you like the transformation. I'm really happy with it. And like I said, if you know what our style is called, please put it in the comments below because I would like to have a term to search on Pinterest for more ideas. Um, if you like these kind of videos, uh, please hit subscribe, hit like. I do plan to do every other room in my house and I will do, and if people like this, I will, I'll do more. It's kind of fun for me. Um, the next room I want to do is our bathroom. I want to do a buffalo check painted wall. Is that crazy? Ambitious? I want to do it. All right. Thanks so much. Have a great day, guys.